It's the second staging of the Youth Climate Change Conference and we are getting in on the action. As young people, you are capable of participating in and changing the society in which you are all valued members. As such, you have an important role to play in addressing and affecting the issues of our world, including the factors that contribute to climate change. Very important. Have I been sleeping? About 1,000 students from high schools across the island, all discussing the global issue of climate change at Jamaica's Youth Conference of Parties. School Zone was happy to engage in convos with our students to hear their views on the matter. As it relates to climate change, there are many different factors that we must take into consideration, but um, probably front and first and foremost is actually information. As, it, as you know, that knowledge is power. So if we can inform this generation of what climate change is and the role it plays in our future, then I believe that that is the first step in reducing the heat that we're experiencing right now. On top of that, with the new generation upcoming, they're very involved in technology, technology and if they can use that technology to advance what uh, um, the problem situation with climate change is right now, then we will be better off in 10 to 20 years time, given that this generation is really advanced in technology. Well, spread the news and recycle more, stop using use less aerosol products for women especially, and also, you know, just stop dumping plastic bottles and those stuff in the rivers. So I'm here with my friends Petrina and Danielle from the Irwin High School in Montego Bay, and they'll be sharing with me their views on climate change. Let me start with Petrina. Petrina, what do you think you can do to tackle the issue of climate change? Educate. Education is always better. And why do you think it's so important to, to get the young people on board? They say the youth are the future of tomorrow. So starting from the youth is better than ever. Mm -hmm. The conversation also included our youth with disabilities who had much to say on the matter. It is important that government continue the conversation surround climate change with persons with disabilities and that can be done by having more workshops to include them. And through the language of signing, the deaf community shared their views. There's a place in your heart and I know that it is love. Those are some of the impacts of climate change which, unfortunately, have already started. Our students believe, however, that if we change our ways, we can slow down some of these effects. Their views are supported by government and other stakeholders. One of the solutions I think we should really push is that the point where they say that um, public sectors and private sectors should be involved, that really shows that the whole country is, you know, coming together, public and private, to really solve this issue, even though it can't really be solved, but to slow it down and to get things on the right track. Individually, there's a whole lot, a whole lot of power that you have. And that power begins with understanding the need to do certain things to improve our common situation, whether it be shutting off the light, uh, recycling or buying products and working and supporting companies that support the environment. I hope that things are put in place after we have done all this talking. They certainly will, Javon, as the outcome of the views of all these youth will be incorporated into the current climate change framework document for schools in Jamaica. Suggestions included we should include a paragraph on the, on the use of wind turbines where appropriate because not all schools would, would be in a, in a local where those particular technologies can be used. All future building plans are to, be are to include and incorporate energy in, in, in efficiency in their core goals. It was a fruitful convo for all the students and in the end, outstanding schools and students were awarded. Overall champion was the Westwood High School from Trelawney. Kudos to you guys. So to Jamaicans out there, students, parents, everyone, just help to make a change. 
teamwork makes the dream work. So each of us has have to do our part in order to make everything work out in the end. All right, what do you plan to do? I'll ensure anything electric is off before I leave any empty room. That's a wrap for today's School Zone. Till next time, I'm Tamara.